The following episode of Rocket Conversations contains spoilers for Captain Marvel. What's up, Rockets? This is the Rocket Conversations podcast. I am Ian Allen, and I have Sarah Flint with me. Hello. I have John Philippe. What's up? And Luna Barbona. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Did you stop doing that? You're putting her on the mic. You know you. Oh, okay. And <laughs> our first topic we have today we kicked Gerald out. is oh yeah we did kick Gerald out <laughs> he home. has been banned <laughs> for this podcast for this only. podcast uh, yeah, I can't tell if he is really upset about it or not he might be sad like he, he might won't. be mad I feel like oh, he gonna, hasn't even seen the he's movie. gonna make sure it doesn't happen again in the future. yeah he's gonna be like all right since I'm the one who knows the mixer but they were not here to bash Gerald because then he's gonna that's why I'm, us. he's gonna yell at I don't us want I'm not bashing back. him I just know that, I just know that he's not gonna want I bash him. I know. Oh, yeah. No, like- I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our real first topic today is Captain Marvel. That's like on the top of the list. Mm-hmm. And I just want to start with Luna. How did you feel about this movie? Okay. I hate that you're starting with me. You know, you you should have stated like like what Captain Marvel is and. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, starting like Captain Marvel right, starting is a Marvel let me, movie. Let me take a few steps back. Um, can you please click on this? Cut so, that out. Captain Marvel is like pretty much the MCU's most powerful character. Not most powerful, but their no, powerhouse. Most, okay. um, the most yeah, powerful hero. Yeah. Aww. The director was Anna. What does that even say? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Anna be, Bowden. Anna Bowden and, and Ryan. Ryan Fleck. Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck. Fleck. In uh, its opening geez. week, it earned 153 million. Pretty good. And as of two days ago, as of recording today, March 28th, two days ago, it had earned 327 million in the box office. Okay. Um, compared to the other movies, is that good or bad? Uh, well, I know they reached up to a billion. So, but that's in total of amount of time in a box office. Oh, okay. Because like um. Black Panther and Infinity War made it up to like, uh, they made it into the top five engrossing movies in the work, the whole world. Yeah, wow. remember my movie review, guys? Uh. <laughs> the trash movie review I did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that we got all the important stuff out of the way, um, let's go back to Luna. How did you feel about this movie? <laughs> Why are you starting off with me? Okay, oh, I'm just going. Okay, it's a circle. I didn't think it was that bad. I'm like others um i don't think i'm not saying it's like the best movie ever i just don't think it was that entirely it was decent like i didn't expect much from it i was personally i really wasn't that excited for it i just wanted to watch it to see what it would bring to the table for um an end game like i want to see how like she's gonna tie into that and if they're gonna give any background like story to her and they did all right they could have done some things better but it was pretty good i think <laughs> All right, and John, you saw the movie, correct? Mm-hmm. John did not see the movie. Yeah, um, just, I was not aware of this. <laughs> I'm just here to be, uh, your I'm just here to be no. here, you know? Oscar. Uh, hey, Oscar. Feel, hey, oh, he's Oscar. not here. Hey, guys, <laughs> hey, hey Oscar, no, open the door and come here to you. All right, thick, Cyril. Thick accent. How did you feel about Captain Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> it was It was painfully average. They could have done so much better, so much more. They, they really could have. But it was... I didn't like the it. The effects were good, though. Yeah, the effects were good. They I mean, Marvel was always good. known for having good, like, special effects. Oh, my God. I have it a side topic on a bigger up later. Okay. And, like... I don't know if it got better because the whole, like... Since now they're, like, merged with Disney. And since also Lucas Films, Lucas Arts, oh, yeah. uh, Lucas... Oh. That whole thing, that All their free. whole thing... <laughs> also merge with i mean because they they're pretty good with their special effects right oh, yeah. so i guess marvel I guess. could have like leached some people i off guess there. star wars is pretty good yeah star wars <laughs> bzz, <laughs> mirror, mirror. <laughs> that one space alien movie <laughs> <laughs> with all, all right. the stars and the wars and all that <laughs> i bet i bet it didn't even take place in space i bet they didn't even <laughs> film it in space huh <laughs> But yeah, the no, movie was just on average, man. All yeah. right, so um, Ian, what yeah, did what you is think your about opinion? Captain Marvel? Oh, interrogating us, huh? Uh, right. Yeah. So I generally hated this movie. Um, Please. <laughs> <laughs> and for the simple fact that it was average, I didn't enjoy any of the fights. Um, the scrolls, they were supposed to be evil, but spoiler alert. I knew they, they weren't. weren't. I've, 
It was a nice. I mean, it was kind of. It was different because yeah. they actually gave it like a reason, like oh, they're refugees that were wiped out by the Kree because they I weren't. Mean, weren't they weren't wiped out by the Kree in the comics, right? No, I don't. Th- I don't believe so. But like, it makes sense because the Kree has oh is bad. Like, uh, freaking Guardians of the Galaxy, the Kree, right? Uh, yeah, Ronan. I would say his name wrong. Ronan. Also, in that that show that they have, Agents of Shield, the Kree were kind of bad. I need to watch that show. I haven't watched. It's it. actually pretty all right it's, it's if you get past good. the first half of the first season. The first season was just dragged on. Oh, it was kind of boring. Yeah. Oh man. Like I, kinda... I hated the first. Like I refuse. Like okay, I started watching it after. Um, like so, I watched the premiere of the first episode. I was like, wow, this is pretty pretty all right and I, like, I wasn't expecting much because it's about shield not like special powers and all that i get mm-hmm. that and it had colson um yes and then i was watch the second episode and it was like i think that was the one that had like the where they went to like this like million not millionaire but like this rich person's house and he was experimenting because he was like also a scientist or whatever and oh. like i barely remember that and it took me like what five years to go back and watch it and oh. then get through it so i had like five years of just like yeah you gotta like it. choke down like a pretty oh. good majority of it just Jeez. to get to the good but stuff. once it catches up with um, yeah. winter soldier like the whole plot line we're like oh shield gets kind of like taken over by hydra that's when the show really picks up because it's like <laughs> mm-hmm. it really gets good because it's like oh you have this whole like civil war thing going on in the like they stay with it they, some shows are like our sides off of like a main thing they don't always stay with it yeah but they actually like do but like they built off of it and it, it, it it's really well and they bring up like made. some of the movies i remember like they brought up what happened in new york a few times yeah and then they brought uh-huh. up um the whole sokovia accords and mm-hmm. i don't know what else they brought. oh they in the last season spoilers um not the like last season because this next season is gonna be the last one but like the last episode of the last season well last um few episodes of this season um they mentioned how they're doomed because Thanos was coming, and they're like, "Who's Thanos?" Blah blah blah. Because like, <laughs> what? And then, yeah. well, oh really? Infinity War. And I thought they were gonna actually do the snap in the show, but that would have been dope. I'm pretty sure they're gonna put that into the next season, though. No, oh, that's I don't know. too much money. Oh shoot! After that's like, how, I wonder how that would look. This isn't even a part of our topic. Well, I mean, but this so, reminds me, we should have put oh. a disclaimer that we're talking Mar- about Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, 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 we should have done that at the beginning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we always go back. Yeah, we'll have to re-record the intro. <laughs> yeah, and say spoil. But the later. um, what was Oof. it for everything? Ant Man and the Wasp. <coughs> the um after credit scene. Yeah. Where um, where he's going to the quantum realm. Yeah, where he's going to quantum realm, and the Glorious. other people got dusted. It didn't look that good. Sure. Like it looked like. Someone just like just got like a box of dust and just went. Somebody's <laughs> ashes. <laughs> no, not even <laughs> ashes. Like Spider Man's ashes. <laughs> they got I Spider-Man. can't remember. Was they talking before it cut out, or like did he was he talking and waiting for them to respond? He was waiting. Uh, for he was them talking, talking away from. Yeah. It would have been better if like the he, they had been talking and then they cut out. Uh, it would have been because uh, I would have gave you like more of like because we all knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. Hmm. But like having that because like other than that it just went from him and the quantum cut to the dust. Yeah. So. I was not interested in Captain Marvel at all, but I do want to see how Ant Man gets out. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. That I has feel me like interested um, the most. What's her name? Star. Wait, who? Who? The girl, the ghost. 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 Oh, ghost. you think she's gonna get him? I think she's gonna get because like they were getting that stuff to help her, so she's gonna need it. She's gonna wonder like where are they at. Oh. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have something to do with it if she wasn't dusted. If not, yeah, maybe maybe one way. of his friends are still like alive. It's funny mm-hmm. seeing all the people talk about theories with Luis in it. Yeah. All right. What else about Captain Marvel? Oh, the CGI on um, the, uh, the Coulson and Fury. The de aging. Yeah, the de aging. Like, okay. Sounds wild. Disney's done it before, like in the Tron movie on the second Tron movie, the Legacy. Oh, yeah, they did. I forgot about. Um, I forgot oh. the guy's name. Um, uh, not not the wow, character, Tron? but the main actor. There's the actor, the dad. Not, yeah, the dad. Throwback. I know his name. Yeah. It's Kevin. I think it was Kevin something. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Flynn. <laughs> Flynn. <laughs> yeah, was I think it, it was. Yeah, Kevin it was Flynn. Flynn. Yeah, it was Flynn. Yeah. And they they had de age him when he was playing Clue, and it looked pretty good. And then I think they're doing it more with like just CGI because well, you got they the whole did it Rogue in Star Wars. And, yeah, they did it with Tony. 
and oh that looked off yeah it threw me weird. off yeah i was like did he sh-? like i thought oh he just shaved but i was like <laughs> no there's something else to it <laughs> wait a minute hmm. but they did it with tony i thought that was pretty it threw me off but i thought it was cool they did it i it was nice. it, it was a pretty cool thing to see yeah I don't think it was that bad though, like the de aging and Captain Marvel. So I have a totally unrelated question to yeah. that. Um, would y'all rather weird. see them bring in actors that look similar to how an actor would look as their younger selves, or just do the CGI thing? Hmm. Um, it's kind of cooler. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cooler when they have like Amazing. an actor that matches, but also seeing like what they can do with cgi is pretty cool also that yeah. gives us more of a chance to like the people that do that but okay marvel yeah so kind of, okay. Okay. All right. marvel kind of over <laughs> i'm just kidding marvel <laughs> kind of overuses cgi <laughs> like <laughs> no they do but it looks good until you like start paying more and more attention to see how out of place it is yeah because like okay if you look at the first iron man movie mm-hmm. and obviously cgi wasn't like back then you know it wasn't like this big thing that was like really well i mean it was but it wasn't like how it is now but like iron man actually had a suit or um robert downey actually had like the suit um i think up to like his legs like thigh uh leg knee somewhere i thought it was just his chest oh yeah no no that was later in the movies a lot of later movies okay all right, all right. But like the mark one armor the one where he built it out of cave with a box of scraps you know my dad bro oh, that was they actually made that armor like that oh, was oh, all of it was, was armor great, honestly um and then the mark two and mark three was it the mark three or mark four uh i'm pretty think sure it was, it was mark, mark two and three um they they were cgi but most of it was practical I like it better. I get. I know it's harder to like actually like have that stuff, but I like it so much better when it's real. Yeah. Like in Age of Ultron, Ultron looked kind of weird, but like people say that, I'm like, I don't see how weird he looked. I was yeah, so me little either. when I watched that. I don't remember. Like it's a blur. Oh shoot. Speaking yeah, of CGI, I keep oh, cutting you off. I'm wanted, so sorry. He yeah. wanted oh, to say shoot. something. I was waiting to say something. I after know. Had John speak. I mean, honestly, like I don't mind the CGI too much. Basically, what Shell said, but like when they bring in an older actor, it kind of amazes me how similar they look. Like I was watching this one episode of mm-hmm. this one show on Comedy Central. Nathan, for you, you ever seen that? No, no. It's a great no. show. A great funny show. <laughs> he just this is just this one guy. He like helps these businesses out in the most weirdest way. He suggested that they just bring in a celebrity lookalike and then just have him like um. You know, just give a fancy tip to a waiter and that'll bring them, you know, some business, you know, and the actor that they uh, got the, what was his name? Wow, I'm doing so bad. (laughs) 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 Oh, okay. The impersonator. Yeah, the actor or the person that they got to do the impersonation, like the actor who they're impersonating, like wouldn't say no because it would like make them look good, you know? So like they just got him to do that. And like the person they brought on was uh, that guy Kramer from Seinfeld. He looks so much like him. He acted like him too. Like, oh no, you're gonna have to act like a normal person, not like Kramer stuff. But yeah, I honestly would prefer the real person. Shoot, okay. it's just All really right. cool to have a real person. Yeah. But one thing, I saw this movie last night, and I know it's not, we're not really DC people. I'm really not DC. But, um, oh I'm my DC god, they use so yeah. many effects for Aquaman. <gasps> okay, oh, okay. Too much, and it was I not, told you about this. Some of that wasn't even executed that well. I'm sorry. All right. Like some of it looked good, right. some of it did not. The de aging of William Defoe <laughs> was really weird, but I kind of got over it because it's like it, mm. it's so at least like somewhat similar, obviously because the same person is with de aged her. <laughs> but like um, the whole time, because okay. You know in Star Wars, Jango Fett, right? The, the guy yep. who played Jango Fett also played Aquaman's dad. Really? Uh, Tamora Morrison. Yeah. Wow, so, I didn't even know that. Like, I was cool. like, wow, he sounds and looks really familiar. Hmm. hmm but, like, wait a minute. I was thrown off because of the whole de-aging thing. I'm like, but see, but it's like, you know what he looks like from other places. And then, like, I think they overdid the CGI to the point where, like, oh, he looks young and unrecognizable. They tried so much to make it look underwater, and it yeah. just looks so mm. like, oh my god, I can't, I could not, I just couldn't, I couldn't focus on what was happening for some of it because I was like, so on the when Aquaman was getting his uh, the whole like his trident, the new one mm-hmm. is the, the ancient trident? one, yeah, the king's trident. <sighs> okay, I remember the scene. That that 
the effects where like the hair was wavy <laughs> was also on his face and on the um trident and i thought oh it's just because the trident's pulsating right no the trident was just waving too like it was hair i'm like ooh. Oh. but you know how people speaking of dc and cgi when batman and superman came out and people were like, oh, uh, Henry Cavill's face looks weird. I, I can't tell. I, I I've looked at footage. I'm really not that much of a Superman fan. And I'm like, I can't, I can't tell. I mean, people are like, oh, it looks really off. It throws me off. And I'm know. like, it Just looks- like with some characters, it looked like they were trying so hard to make him look underwater. And then some of them didn't like uh, his brother. Look what they were trying to make. He looked like he was a mirror. Like there was a mirror and then there's some water in between and then it was his face. (laughs) And then Aquaman himself, like Arthur, he didn't, all that looked like he was underwater was his hair. And I was like, what's going on? This is so weird. I I just, I I could not get over that. So did y'all enjoy Aquaman more than you did Captain Marvel? No. Really? You enjoyed Captain Marvel more than... I mean, I I'm, I'm not I didn't like either. <coughs> Honestly, like, they're not favorites. Saw, yeah, but like I didn't like Aquaman just. Because, I mean, Aquaman was actually really all right. It's just the whole visual effects that turned like me off. I like his character. I'm just not that into that kind of storyline. I finally saw it like last night, and I gotta say, wasn't too bad. Yeah, really, it wasn't. Why did we both watch Aquaman last night? <laughs> <laughs> Got something till the rest of the show. <laughs> Captain I Marvel. I just thought it was. I, like I said, I was not excited. I wasn't really planning on watching it. Only reason I knew I was going to have to watch it because I need to know what I need to know the basics of her for ha- to see her in Endgame. For I me, really could have went without that. Yeah. So, so like I remember when I was younger, they had the whole Marvel or Avengers show okay. on like Disney or whatever. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And I, I watched that. I really <laughs> liked it. And Captain Marvel was just so uninteresting. It was like, huh, Shoot. this person. She's always been a just garbage character. Yeah. And then when um, Guardians of the Galaxy came on, I'm like, who the heck are these guys? Well, yeah. losers. I, I, I would always alone. see it, but just didn't watch it. I was like, like, they don't yeah. look interesting. Like, I think the only one that was like, it was Groot, but like, even he looked weird. Okay. Okay. I want to bring up the Stanley oh, tribute. Was no, no, it's okay. Ooh, go, go, go yeah, on. the Stanley tribute. I, oh, oh, God, he hasn't seen it. To, oh, well, go ahead. You okay. know, <laughs> I knew it was gonna come. Like I heard a rumor that they're gonna let like, that that the beginning scene wasn't gonna be like the regular scenes from other clip movies. But then when I saw it, I was just like, I started crying. I don't know about y'all. I started wow, crying honestly. so hard because I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> So that was the highlight of the movie then. Nothing yeah, to do honestly. with Captain Marvel. You know what? And after hearing y'all talk, I don't feel like I'll need to see it. I just want to wait yeah, for Endgame. Wait to see if you're worthy of you killing Thanos or not. You can literally just like go on Instagram, look at like the highlight posts of Captain Marvel, of what you need to know. Okay. Basically. Did you send me like um, Marvel or Captain Marvel, but out of context? Yes. Because uh, I was like bored. I'm going to show him that real quick. One thing <laughs> is... Uh, her so her her scene where like she's cutting out her powers and like going to the max of her power or whatever the heck they could have done so much better with that like it was it was okay but there was uh they could have done better and it's just upsetting were there any good memes out of it at least there was a goose. few goose definitely goose is do- i'm pretty i'm pre- marvel said that they, that this is like not even the beginning of what we're gonna see of goose apparently goose can do more I want to see that. Goose is the cat. Uh, the flurkin. Yeah. Uh, that was you. You know. All right. This is a huge spoiler. I, I didn't. Okay. Wait, are you wait, talking about the? I my fury. Yes. Yeah. Oh that God. was garbage. They I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't like that. Especially because so it contradicts funny. what was said earlier, like in um Winter Soldier. To Steve. Yeah. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye or some crap. Like they just that. they made <laughs> when him you trust Jesus. a heckin' cat. <laughs> they made him seem like a liar. Here we go. I just I'm not uh, messing with that at all. Yeah. He should have like got it scratched out by some knew, giant monster and then like. But we knew it, it was gonna face. happen in this movie because it kept it foreshadowing it. Like since oh, like the beginning of the movie, he had a oh, problem yeah. with his eye. Oh yeah, and when he got his eye, he's like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "Yeah." And it's like, "Ooh, <laughs> this man." But like, okay, I thought I thought um one of the um <laughs> scrolls was gonna like maybe shoot his eye on accident. Or yeah, that would have been fire, but just maybe the main scroll was actually gonna betray them and be evil like they are in the comics. That would have been. It would have made sense too. Yeah, that like, would have made last the movie. time I trusted someone, the scroll, they betrayed me. Especially like that know. one scroll, like the dad guy. That's what I was talking oh, yeah. about. Yeah, I know, but I was like, the main guy. that would have made the movie way better if the that. scroll had betrayed them. <laughs> this is great. Betrayed, just betrayed great. them. Um, what was I gonna say? That had something on my mind. Murder on my mind. 
No. Oh, <laughs> um, how long? Oh gosh, how long was Captain Marvel? Um, like two hours and two hours of it something was, minutes. It I was. Think, it was the average length, give or take. It wasn't like excess. If it wasn't like excessively. Long. It wasn't Infinity War long. Oh, Not god. Infinity War. That movie seemed long. Um, Endgame. Yeah, long. honestly. Oh god. Endgame. I cannot be drinking anything. I can't drink it. I. <sighs> I'll just probably order something halfway through. Oh, shoot. Where's the intermission? Shoot. I'm, hey, um, shoot. Where did y'all go to see the movie? Regal. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that one all the way over there. I think I went to Santico's. Oh, shoot. Uh, shoot. I only normally go to the two places. Like this one really quiet place, the Rialto. Hardly anybody there. Two hours and five minutes. Shoot. That's I want to say five minutes, but I'm like... Nah. And then there's this one place that's really nice, the Alamo Draft House. Instead of showing that. like previews, they just show stuff that's related to the movie. I went to see the uh, Grinch there. They just showed them by Christmas stuff, like all this trivia and stuff. It's pretty nice. Okay. I got some gummy bears too. It was good. All right, guys. So now that we've talked about Captain Marvel, we kind of straight off topic, but we did talk about it. Our next topic. We have five topics, four talks to choose from. Fifth is a maybe. I have, I have one. What are the topics? For, oh, topic or? Because um, those are the ones we have listed. For the if second you don't know, one? We're listing it. Um, not a theory. I want to bring something up. One? If you're all okay the with that. End game theories. Okay. Right, ding, gonna, ding, ding, ding. We're going to talk about our topic. Game theories. Not all right, theory. Luna, you may start. <laughs> okay. So, have y'all seen the posters they released this week? No. Oh, yeah. The yeah. one where it's like black and white and the Avengers of Fallen or whatever. Yeah. Cool. One of them, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't mean to like go into a whole topic about her. I didn't want to bring up the posters in general, but I just remembered it right now. I don't know. Shiri died. Well, it wasn't shown. Huh? I don't think it was shown. Yeah. Oh. She. Because oh, yeah. the last time we saw I her, she was working on Vision. Yeah, yeah, and then she got like knocked out, but I didn't think she got dusted. Did you send this in the group chat? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. see unlike, unlike Gerald, we checked the group chat. I even checked the group chat, and I don't even <laughs> talk in that one. Oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, gosh. All right. So, um, what in game theories does do y'all have something about time travel at least that's online people were like oh yeah time travel i remember someone said that when that when that first theory came out people said they're gonna go back in time and erase tony my time oh. what that he either he him or he him either him or steve are gonna be the sacrifice and one of them was gonna get erased wow but Working that would affect their whole rest of the timeline and the rest of the heroes I've never been a fan of Captain America, so I eh, yeah, wouldn't really okay. care if he went. Tony Stark is my dad, so... Mm. Yeah. Honestly, the best Avenger. I don't know. Like, Doctor Strange don't is Don't get me wrong. Avenger, Steve Rogers is pretty, Avenger. like, dope. Like, Steve Rogers, yeah, but I'm not, like, all gun-ho about him. They should have kept Doctor Strange. Okay, I yeah, don't so care what anybody rip. says about the Ant Man meme or whatever. It could happen. All right, it's we're not definitely allowed to talk plausible. About. We're not like, allowed to talk they're, about. They're it, not going to do that. I swear, if they do that, they I will. Wouldn't. That cry. would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be just, great. Why don't I they would. just go inside his head? If anything, like go inside his ear. I mean, yeah, that would definitely. Oh shoot. Uh, because that makes too much sense for the internet. I know. Sorry, it's logical. Like, no, but wouldn't he feel that though? Like going through his eardrum. What uh, you don't feel yeah, things? Don't uh, feel the other way too. Yeah. Anyway, okay. we're, we're getting, we're yeah, but getting that's too, we're getting too we're close. Getting close. We're, we're, getting getting too close. we're getting too close. Okay, you're right. My bad. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you're getting loud. I had to turn it right. down. Hey, but don't mute us. Just, just, oh, no, I don't mean <laughs> All right, just Gerald. Stop. That's, that's going to be on the podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're just constantly harassing him. All right, so this isn't a theory, but I would have liked to have seen them make the Illuminati. Uh, <laughs> Illuminati? Yeah. Yeah. With... Uh, Captain Mar- well because they don't uh, have Iron- it wasn't Iron Man um, oh, yeah, oh I know um, what you're talking Bruce about Banner. you told me about this you told me about this I know what you're talking Black about Black Panther the Secret Illuminati no not Secret yeah. Illuminati Doctor Strange uh, it wasn't Ryan Reynolds it was Ryan um, Re- no it wasn't. not Ryan Reynolds were you going to say Ryan Reynolds <laughs> yeah I don't uh, know Deadpool, Deadpool? <laughs> nah, no Wait not him minute. freaking uh, didn't Reed you- Richards or yeah or? that's what I meant yeah. to say I was like, the one that told fantastic me about man this. man Mr. Fantastic because you told me that they were gonna like in the comments that they sacrificed um they sacrificed something big and like Steve did not like it and so Captain America like left that Illuminati or some shit I thought something they like, like wiped his mind yeah like they did that too oh yeah that was dope that like screw it wipe I- his mind in civil- well to be fair also in Civil War Captain America was technically supposed to die, but then remember when in Captain the movie, America he like hails Hydra? I oh, was, that was old. I know, but remember that was supposed to come out like be a whole like thing, and they never did anything with it. 
Yeah. All right. Well, for my theory for Endgame, All right. I do think they're going to go back in time. But I think Hulk, either Hulk or Iron Man, should be the one that defeats Thanos. I don't even know why they'd be going after Thanos. Oh, that, that'd be great for Hulk to come back. Like, he's yeah. had such little to do with. Yeah, he just yeah. got I was. Smacked. I just want Iron Man to be the one that, like, defeats Thanos because he has the one that has, like, the most problems with him out of all the uh, cast. <laughs> that I think also Nebula should get a chance. She's not big, but she gets a like, she she the, deserves to get a chance to She's often. gonna just backhand her yeah, as the, soon as she <laughs> yeah. no, she's gonna disassemble she like clo- in the movie. She got close to killing him when she stuck on the ship. Yeah. Oh yeah, I said forgot that. about that. What was it? Um two <laughs> the two main things that have had problems with Thanos were like out of all the Avengers, Tony, and then all of the Guardians of the Galaxy, because each of them had all the Guardians had been affected by Thanos, like um Hey, good morning. That, they all got yeah, off. good morning. I mean, obviously, and then um, Green Man that's invisible when he stands still. He his <laughs> his I didn't even know she was there. Thanos. Yeah, no, no one. Knows. Actually, his daughter's still alive. Oh, what? In the comics, his daughter's still. Okay, alive. Okay, we're talking about the movie. I know, but he I'm was like, oh yeah, my family there. died. <laughs> died. Yeah, we're died-ed-ed. talking about Did-ed-ed. moving pictures here, not still. They pictures. brought up the comics. <laughs> yeah, but we're talking about like. <laughs> MCU what they, stuff. What if they just made an MCU Illuminati Ooh, squad? Yeah, squad. But they don't have a lot of people. Right now, half the people are dead. Yeah, so like, I don't know about that one, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't even have the rights to Reed Richards. Oh, wow. I mean, to be fair, Ant Man was also supposed to be Hank Pym, but then they kind of changed that. Wait. Oh, okay. Can we bring up the whole? Uh, I think I sent it to you, Cyril, where it was like. Uh, Marvels have Marvel has put fake scenes in, in um, trailers before. Yeah, they did it for um, Infinity War, and people are saying that's a thing now, and that, that Tony's not really back on Earth. But if you look at one of the other two scenes, uh, um, Black Widow and um, <laughs> what's Black Clint? Widow gonna do? Shoot Thanos? <laughs> <Honestly. laughs> and Clint, they're in they're in um, the space they're in um, Peter's ship. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Hmm. Shoot. Oh, so that just spoils it on me. No, it doesn't. Well, it just proves that, they we know, co- we it know, that they're back. We know Tony's going to come back. Like, you can't have him not come back. You can't have him die with... Because they, they show footage for, like, the first 15 minutes. Except, you know, when I guess they're suited up. I'm pretty sure that's going to be later on in the movie. Those ugly but, like, suits. Hey, they're not ugly. They're they look, they look ugly. pretty all right. They're so ugly. I like the colors. Yeah. The color schemes are I right. feel like if there's more red than white, it would look kind of okay. Like lining and white. But I'm just mad they showed it to us. I would have liked to have been surprised. Uh, I would have been mad. Really? Been surpri- I would have been mad if that, like, during this intense part of the movie, bang, there are no suits. What? Oh. That's disgusting. Well, I mean, also, they had the whole um, Captain America in his old suit. I want him to stay in the old suit. You know, I I miss his beard. <laughs> like it looked really good as Captain America. Yeah, it did. he was like this. Like he he turned dark, and I liked that look for him. But now they like they're making him go back to his like clean cut boy. Ah, uh, and like his thing. hair was like it was dark, and now it's all back to blonde, like bright blonde or whatever. Well, also it's like shorter, and yeah. it's like wow. I mean, I get it. He's not really hunted down anymore now that half of everyone's kind of dead. <laughs> but yeah. can't catch me if you're dead. <laughs> basically <laughs> so did um red hulk or his guy um general oh i think i know who you're talking ross about. general ross <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. did he get dusted because <laughs> then that means that means captain america is pretty much free to do whatever oh. I, I don't well, not necessarily, i feel like but... he isn't dusted just because it's him yeah are they gonna reveal he's the red hulk that would be crazy if he helped them they're saying that the Hulk is gonna like be gone for a while. Like they're saying that Banner isn't gonna like, he's not gonna be dead, but he's just gonna be gone for a while and again. then he's gonna come back again. He's, like gonna, he's gonna do the whole plant hulk thing. Yeah, they said they're gonna that was a rumor. I remember like a couple of movies ago that was a rumor to do Planet Hulk. Hulk is like if the least interesting one. Hmm? Hulk is the least interesting one. I know, but if they do Planet Hulk, just sheer power oh my gosh, I would love to see that. I just want to know Doctor they Strange said, movie. They said he's gonna turn into Professor Hulk in this movie. That's like a, that's a rumor floating around. <laughs> he might be weaker then. Well, because it said because of the whole him being the Hulk for three years and then now Banner is like 
Because before, Banner was, like, so mad at him and, like, hmm, the Hulk is, like, the worst part of me. But now he's, like, he's not like that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're still on the topic of theories. So y'all mentioned going back in time. So if they go back in time and then defeat Thanos, do you think it'll mess up the timeline? Oh yeah, for Shoot. everything else, and then they'll just go off of that for future Shoot. movies. Mm. I feel it would mess it up because they go back like oh yeah, before? hold on, like yeah, like so let's say when they far? were on Titan, they go back like that far, okay. and just to beat Thanos, like like that would still mess up like the timeline. The time yeah, fight. yeah. Before like oh. he snapped. Oh, Ooh, you mean like well, while they were no, fighting him, yeah, or like, yeah, when Doctor Strange before. like got his. Oh, you mean okay, yeah. That won't, that won't really that change won't mess much, up that much. Actually, I thought you meant like before his like Planet Titan was. Messed yeah, up while it was still like grassy that would and everything. Be a big thing. Yeah, I was yeah. like, uh, don't know about that one, man. <laughs> yeah, they just that would that would change everything. Everything so, actually, yeah. Because yeah, make him to a like next the person. Whole, Someone's saying they're going <laughs> to go back dead. to where Tony <laughs> is now working in Shield. Like, there's a cl- there's apparently a picture of him wearing a Shield outfit. Uh, that he's going to go back in time to meet Steve from way back when, the beginning, and that that's how something happens. But then that everything has an effect. So whatever they do go back in time for, for however far back, it's going to mess something up in the future. Hmm. So that leaves them a window they could take and do some cool stuff with. And someone's gonna die. Who do I think is gonna die? Oh shoot! We're not gonna have. I want Captain back. America to die. Oh, Iron oh Man. God! Well, I mean, you guys remember um, Robert Downey and Chris Evans. This is like their last movie. But oh, yeah, they said are. that last time, and I was all prepared. Infinity War is a two-parter. So, Shut up. so technically, they're still on their last movie. Um, you can't, you can't have a two-parter, and then. Honestly, I would. Na- oh, did you know? Um, halfway in Infinity War was when the snap was supposed to happen. Oh, wow, for real? What were they done in the last half? Just like the whole Endgame part. Or? I don't know about the Endgame part, but like preparing for Endgame, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, the snap was supposed to happen. I would have been fine. That would have been. Okay. That actually, really that would have been a whole lot more cooler. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I've been like, oh, they're just pulling that out in the beginning. That would be crazy. Because then, like, we have to. One, we have to process the whole snap thing and then watch them process it for the rest of the duration. But then yeah. having it at the end of the movie was also good because it's like, yeah. oh, they just killed half of everyone. Wait, Hold up. Are we supposed to do <laughs> That's this? the end of the movie. You can't do that. Yeah, Wait a minute. They're the main characters. Give They're supposed to win. <laughs> Actually, if you're a Russo person, like Mr. B said, that Thanos was the protagonist. Well, because, you know, uh, they are, he is. Yeah. No. He did nothing wrong. Thanos did nothing wrong. What do you do wrong? What do you do wrong? Huh? Yeah, tell me <laughs> one thing. <laughs> okay so what was what was his motivation though I, uh, I didn't figure that out balance watching the balance you know perfect resources, resources he has massive OCD <laughs> <laughs> that's the real problem here so yeah. didn't they show Mistress Death too no and they didn't oh I thought they did imagine if like Hella was still around like who says she isn't <sighs> yeah she's probably just down uh the planet exploded with Surtur hey oh. you know how uh, okay, okay. Thor's ship exploded and how he okay. just kind of survived. But her powers oh, yeah. came from there. So if Asgard is gone and also the people of Asgard, mm, uh, there's no more Ella. Hella. She's pretty powerful. I feel like she could have escaped. I, there was like a whole thread yeah. I read one to like all the other villains like got a hold of the gauntlet. <laughs> and it was so funny in a wow. while from start to finish. You're very quiet. Yeah, I, know, I mean, because like, oh, y'all are really involved in the Marvel universe, and like, what I, did you think we're gonna do? I don't just like mostly just talk about how y'all thought Captain Marvel was so bad, uh, so average. Yeah, uh, I was hoping to get a chance to do that, just really poop on the movie. Just do it, <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, shoot. just do it. No, it's, it's, all right, all right, I think on, I said enough. But yeah. So okay, we can go off of Marvel, by the way. All right, let's and do it. I'm excited. We have about that. three more topics. All right, Ooh. we have. The Medela effect, conspiracy theories, Ooh. or various April Fool's topics that we're gonna have to make up on the spot. Do y'all yeah. believe in Bigfoot? We could we could talk about what? wait what? Do y'all believe in Bigfoot? Is that a conspiracy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, no, like, honestly, not. Yeah. I feel like it's just like some really tall person. It's like just really. It's hairy. a really hairy guy. Yeah, something. They really... probably have like a mental. Problem. He, he's Amish. He doesn't want electronics. <laughs> he's running like away from people. He's what? Just, he doesn't like people. He has like a mental problem. It's just he's a big, Amish. just a guy chilling. Yeah, Why? So... Do you have anything further with that? 
Um, Do you have evidence? <laughs> have y'all watched the shows? Like, were they like hunting Bigfoot? No. Mm, I don't really. believe that no. stuff, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly. It can be so doctored, like, so easily. Hmm. As we have learned. Though. Like, mm-hmm. when you're bored and you watch that, you're like, well. Yeah, honestly. That's the only reason you'll really watch yeah. it because you're bored. But what about ghosts? Do y'all believe in ghosts? Yes. Honestly, I do believe ghosts are real. We live, you know, that San Antonio is one of the most haunted like places in the world, right? I didn't even know that. Shoot. Yeah, because of the I'm pretty fine. Right here. <laughs> oh yeah, shoot the Alamo and stuff. I haven't been done dilly spooked. So in my house, that's an idea. I'll be okay. doing certain activities, Don't spook me. and I'll see like a glare like run past me. And me and my dad think it's a ghost because me and him see the same thing. Ooh. So like we could be ironing, uh-huh. like our clothes, <laughs> and we'll see something like run by. No, no, not at the same time. But, like, <laughs> this happened to both of us. Now, this before. is how you do it, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, like we'll just see like glares and stuff. Oh my god! Yeah, I shouldn't have done that while she was drinking. <laughs> Luna just stepped out of the room. Jesus! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, for all of you that can't see this, Luna just kind of died a yeah, little. Yeah, just well, muted her mic. Some on the side of the like uh, the <laughs> main door to my house where you exit main hallway. Um, there's this like little draft that gets in sometimes, and it sounds so eerie, like a ghost or something. Like, ee, ee. <laughs> you jump right when you hear it. It was just so scary, honestly. Sorry. <laughs> John, you sound like you're, <laughs> you're special. <laughs> All right, does anybody have one last conspiracy theory? Um, shoot. 9-11. Uh, oh, no. Okay, the moon landing. Let's just go to the moon landing. Moon landing. Let's cut that, that other part out. The moon landing. Come on, let's, let's um, go to the moon before landing. Before we start that, I do think 9-11 was fake, but let's go to the moon. Unless say somebody has anything interesting. The moon doesn't exist. Yeah, I, I really don't. Yeah, I got what about the moon? Y'all actually don't? I don't exist, yeah. yeah how come I can see in the daytime then? Boom. Yeah, like- <laughs> how come it looks the same as always? Exactly. You can't. Checkmate, atheist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. so y'all have nothing about the moon? Uh, what about... <coughs> Landon? All right, Mandela Effect. Luna, describe it. We literally... Yeah, you're the expert on this. Yeah, you're the one that brought it up. minutes and we gotta start... We gotta stop this before those eight minutes end. All right, well, Rockets, thank you for joining our podcast. We were a bit all over the place today, but it did. Were we sound- when are we, we had not? topics. We had shoot, topics. This we was it. fun yeah. for me, honestly. Yeah. It was pretty good, though. Um, si, senor. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you guys are viewing this on, but go ahead and just share it with your friends. Or don't. No, definitely no, do. It don't be friends. lame. Yeah. Um, and if you don't share Good. it, I will come and find you. I know exactly where each of you listening <laughs> live. And this is not a game. <laughs> but uh, thank you for enjoying our podcast and our podcast. podcast. And goodbye. Broadcast is our other thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.